What is up, guys? We have a video for you today. We're going to be jumping right into it. Uh, I just watched Tales of the Empires recently, and then the more I thought about it, it didn't take me very long to come up with something that made a little bit more sense, and I think it was a missed opportunity. Tales of the Empire was overall, I think, pretty good. Uh, I did enjoy Tales of the Jedi a bit more, but I still think it was decent. Obviously, the lesser part of Tales of the Empire was the Barriss Offee storyline. I think that's fairly obvious. Maybe it's not that way for everybody. Oh, yeah, baby. Had that mug for forever. Anyway, since Force Awakens forever anyway. But today we have a little paint for you. A little Microsoft paint or whatever it's called. Um... Because I, I want to run through this really quick, okay? We we have Barris Offy, all right? We're going to put B.A. like that, all right? Now, when Barris was a Jedi, she was friends with Ahsoka. I mean, I, I don't want to say they were like best friends, but they were they were friends. They they knew each other. I would, I would say that you could see them being somewhat close, okay? Now, Anakin was over... Ahsoka, right? Anakin was over Ahsoka. Master Padawan. Bears Offy, I don't remember exactly who her master was, um, but not necessarily relevant at this point. But Bears Offy ends up going rogue and goes to prison, okay? Goes to prison. We know this, okay? This is all standard. That R looks terrible. She goes to prison, okay? This is all pretty standard. Everybody understands this. Hopefully you understand this. You're following me thus far. The missed opportunity is in this love triangle. It's not a love triangle. Force triangle. Um, then Barris in Tales of the Empire, Lynn shows up to take Barris out. What I think would have been way better is if Vader gets her out of prison. If Vader comes and gets Barris out of prison, okay? And then we have Vader over Barris. Huh. And then we see this storyline in Tales of the Empire. So then in Ahsoka season two, we have Barris V versus Ahsoka. Booyah in Ahsoka season two. I think that this would have been sick because they used to be somewhat friends and Anakin used to be over Ahsoka now Vader's over Barris. he basically traded one for the other since Ahsoka left me or went on her own way did her own thing whatever else that then Vader picks up Barris and tries to replace Ahsoka but here's the thing Barris will never be Ahsoka she's not as good as Ahsoka so then when they are in this fight Ahsoka reveals and conversates with Barris about Anakin becoming Vader. Then Barris, however it happens, has to go and confront Vader about this. And they end up fighting and then Vader wins. Stabs her. And, but that's how Barris turns back to the Jedi. Turns back to the light side of the force. Okay, turns back and goes back rather than this whole Lynn Tales of the Empire nonsense baloney. But like it just wasn't it, it just didn't make a lot of sense. I think in a short timeline for Barris to come back to the light doesn't make a lot of sense because think about it. I mean, Barris. Barris was a Jedi who turned on the Jedi to the point of wanting to bomb them. Then is imprisoned by them for a period of time. She's just going to flip back to being a Jedi? That doesn't make sense. Um, 
I th- in that short of time anyway, I think it's possible that she flipped back to being a Jedi, but just not that fast. So I think that this storyline here, this triangle, this force triangle, or I guess it'd be a square because Vader is technically not Anakin, but you know what I mean. So I think that this would have been dope. I think this would have been sick. Hopefully you guys think so too. I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. But basically, fixing Tales of the Empire and the Barriss Offy storyline. There you go. Hope you enjoy.